Yo, what's up? I'm Phantom Brother, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the release date for the day before. I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe. I release helpful guys, tips and tricks. So help me on my road to 500 subscribers. Like the video, because if you like the video, I like you. I know you like it when I don't talk too much. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I presume everyone wants to know is the release date for the day before, which has now been announced as the 21st of June, 2022 by Mionta developers and the gaming studio who are called Fantastic Studio, which is spelled F-N-T-A-S-T-I-C. Um, they're the studio developing the game. So if you want to find out the most important information, make sure to follow them on Twitter. The next thing that we saw in the trailer was an inventory where we could see what kind of items we can use. So it looks quite common to most survival games where we have like an inventory, our gun slots, our lethals and stuff. So we at least got to saw a little bit of a glimpse of that. We also got to see like how the gun attachments are used so you can have like a muzzle or scope so we know that there'll be some sort of weapon attachment system in the day before another cool thing that we saw from the trailer in the premiere was that there are like phones that you can pick up in the open world now we don't quite know whether they are actually just things that you pick up or whether if you pick up a phone you can actually use it i remember like you know playing gta you could actually bring out your phone and use it to like manipulate the stock market and stuff so it'd be really cool if you can actually have a phone and it has some kind of interaction with the game whilst you play it and um yeah and then of course it's got lootable chests so we don't quite know what the chests have um, but we did see in the trailer that they were opening chests but it didn't have like any loot that comes out of them i was really hoping to see some sort of like the division glowing pipe into the sky with like an exotic but i really really hope that um that's coming to the game also another thing that we saw in the trailer was the ability to drive cars so there will be a drivable vehicle mechanic we aren't too sure whether or not this is a thing that's just going to be in the open world whilst you're walking around the city but maybe more of a thing when you are in a certain mission and there's a car and you can drive it i don't think that you're just going to be able to get in any car and drive it that would be really really cool so i'll be happy to know what you guys know whether that's something that's confirmed or whether that's just something that we saw through the trailer obviously in the trailer we did see like the open world and there were cars in the street so i don't know if they're drivable but one of the things we do know is that there was a car that, that we can drive so that's one thing to look out for finally one of the last things that they revealed during the trailer was a little easter egg game called prop night um, it looks really, really similar to a game like Dead by Daylight where uh, it's a little Halloween Easter egg game where you can go play and it's be it definitely looked like the day before. I mean, Dead by Daylight, man. It looked like Dead by Daylight. So I think they just did that to try and make everyone happy and get a little bit hype around ha ha Halloween. So happy Halloween. Go play the game. Um, it's like a day before vibe and it's take on Dead by Daylight. So if that's what you're into, there you go. Continuing on that, I'd like to know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you happy with the release date being in June? Were you expecting the release date to be a lot sooner? If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to get more related content. I stream on YouTube now as well. So check my schedule in the description below and follow me on all my socials. Until next time, peace.